Yes, guys, those ones who are still watching us on BTN since the program started. Once again, I'm teacher Fred with a mathematics lesson as usual. For those who have been following us, they know where we are last time. And we are just going to continue from where we ended. Uh, we were still handling unit six, so today I still I'm still continuing. Which says Percentages, when you look at unit six, it talks about percentages, ratios, uh, mixtures, and proportions. So for today's case, I want us to look at percentages, specifically the way we have been going through. Then the lesson of today, it will be comparing percentages as qualities. Only x, we shall have 10x is equal to 4,000. Pupils. So we shall. We said 10x is equal to 4,000 as a pupils. We are going to eliminate 10 such that we can remain with the only x on one side. I'll say divide by 10, divide by 10. Okay. After all this, I'll now come and cancel out this 10 with this 10, okay? Say, so, this zero will go with this zero. Or I can take just 10 with 10. What am we remaining with here? One times x is the same as saying x. So we shall have x is equal to, when we come to this side, we have 4,000 out of 10. I'll cross this zero with this zero. What are we remaining with? You will come to realize that we are, x is us 400. So I'll say x is equal to 400 pupils. X is equal to 400 pupils. After getting 400 pupils, what are we going to do? We shall say, therefore, there are 400 pupils. There are 400 pupils in a class. So the whole class will give us 400 pupils. Even when somebody just finds you and asks you what is 10% of 400, you'll realize that 10% of 400 is equal to 40. That's why you realize here, they said 10% was being given 40. So let's look at also the second example. What does the second example say? The second example is requiring us to find whereby they have said is 1,620. That is what the question is saying. Then they are saying the statement saying. Then from there the question is continuing and said find the number. So in actual sense, just like the way we have handled the first example, is the same idea that we are going to use to handle the second example. They've already identified for us some areas. They have said, what whole number, one out of two, is equal to 1,620. That is, so meaning that this 40, 40 and a half, percent is representing 1,620. That is for 40 whole number, one out of two. Now, they want us to find the whole number, meaning that the whole number is supposed to give us 100%, but this is not 100%. So, for us to find the number, we shall come and say solution. When we look at the first example, we got, our, we got our percentage, just like we did here. You can come with me and look at this. 10% out of 100. That's what we did on the first one. So up there, we multiply with the number. Then it will give us what has been given. Let's continue with our question. We shall say 40, all number, 1 out of 2 percent divide by 
the original percentage is it? 100 percent of number and what do we know the number no if i don't know the number i will say let the number we are going to find out i'll say let the number let the number let the number be X or any letter, any alphabetical letter to represent that. So I'll say 40 whole number, one out of two percent of the number, and our number is now X. So I'll say of X is equal to the given number. What is the given number? 1620. Okay? Is equal to 1,620. That's what we're looking at. Uh, this statement is exactly the way we have done here. There's nothing we have changed on the first example. When you bring the relationship of the first example and the second example, it is just the same. So from here, we say given percentage out of 100, then times the number. Just like I've done there, we have got the given percentage out of 100 of the number, just as we did here. So we shall continue by saying, for the whole number, one out of two, we are going to change that mixed fraction into improper fraction by saying 40, uh, by saying 40, let's begin with the denominator. We say two times 40, plus 1 divided by 2. We are getting a denominator which is 2 times a whole number which is 40 plus 1 which is a numerator divided by the denominator. Then from we cannot say again out of. When I divide from down you will get confused. What we shall do? I will say divide by because out of simply means divide. So we are going to say out of two. Then this side, instead of saying out of 100 here, I'm going to say divide by this original percentage, which is 100. So I will say divide by 100. The 100 is the percentage. Then what, which statement is here, the word of. We said earlier on in example one that the word of simply mean timers in mathematics. So we shall get 100 times the number. What is the number? We don't know. But we have already asked you for permission. We say, let that number which we don't know to be represented by letter X. So we shall say times X, which will be equivalent to 1,620. Right? 1,620. Then from there, we shall come here and say, this 100, let us, let's make it also a fraction, out of 1. When you reach this step, you will come and use what we call body mass. What we call body mass. We shall use what we call body mass. What does this word mean? B stands for brackets, O stands for of, which we have already dealt with. So, once we follow this statement, when we have a number which has got more than one side, so brackets, we don't have any brackets around, we are going to multiply this out, then uh, we come and look for the word of, of we have already solved it, then we come to divide. So, when you look at this, our division sign is here. We are now going to deal with the division before we come to multiplication at the same time before we come to this. Remember this is one number. We are just changing this. So I will say, following our statement I've written there, we shall say, let's summarize this as a fraction which is 81 out of 2. We have said, Bodman says, uh, we divide. So we are going to divide this. When we are dividing fractions, what happens? We multiply. Just like we said it last time when we are dealing with this. So we are going to change this into multiplication sign 
and once you change it into multiplication sign, what will happen? We find the reciprocal of the next fraction. And the next fraction is 100 out of 1. So the reciprocal of 100 out of 1 will change. 1 will be a numerator. 100 will become a denominator. Okay? That's what we mean by reciprocal. A numerator becomes a denominator and a denominator becomes a numerator. That's what we mean by the reciprocal. So we shall say 1 out of 100. We have got the reciprocal already of 100 out of 1, which has now given us 1 out of 100. Remember, we have times. Times our number. The number is in x, which will give us 1,000. 620. That's what we have. After there, we are now going to multiply everything from here up to here. Then we come and also multiply everything from here up to here. And we make it equivalent to the number which was given. Okay. Let's continue from there. So from there, we are going to copy our statement. Directly by saying 81 out of 2 times 100 out of 1. No, 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 no. Let's just multiply throughout. 81 times 1, it will give us 81. Times x, it will give us 81x. So we shall have 81 x 81 times 1 that's 81 1 uh, 81 times x it will give us 81 x then we say out of 2 times 100 2 times 100 it will give us 200 so we shall say out of 200 after saying that of 200, will be equivalent to what we have here. We have 1,620. 1,620. That's what we have. Let's make it also a fraction out of 1. Once you reach that step, what is the next step? The next step is now to cross multiply. Is to cross multiply. I will say this one and 200 will be, will be multiplied by this. Then 81 will also be multiplied by this. Whereby 81x times 1, it will give us 81x. 81x is equivalent to 1620 times. We are now getting also 200 times. 1,600, we said that we cross multiply. Cross multiplying simply means this numerator will be multiplied by this denominator. And this denominator will also be multiplied by this numerator. Okay? So from there, I will say times 200. After there, I will say 81x is equal to. Let's multiply these numbers here. First of all, when the numbers are ending with the zero, zero, when the numbers are ending with zero, zero, what do we do? I'm going to count all these zeros which are ending, but you don't count the zero which is in the middle of the number. No. You only count the zeros that are ending. How many are they? One, two, three. They are three zeros which are ending. So if there are three zeros which are ending, I'll come here and say one, two, three. Those are zeros that are appearing at the end of the number, not in the middle. You don't write here those zeros, if a zero is in the middle of the number, just come and count them, one, two, three. The ones which are ending at the number. So, from there I'll remain with 60, 162. We shall remain with 162. Times, which number are we remaining with? Two. The two zeros here represent these two zeros. This one zero ending is being represented, is the one representing this. So let's multiply here. 
2 times 2 it will give us 4 2 times 6 it will give us 12 12 we shall write 2 we will regroup 1 1 times 2 1 times 2 or 2 times 1 it will give us 2 plus 1 it will give us 3 so we shall come with the number we have written here we write it here 3 2 4 that is the number we have got let's see if you cannot multiply in that way if you cannot write here zeros they were done this is what we do just come aside and have 1 6 2 0 times your 200 times it 200 let's multiply it out and let's see 0 times 0 to give us 0 0 times 0 0 0 times 6 6 I mean 0 0 times 1 0 come here 0 times 0 0 don't write here why we are considering the place value this second zero is under the place value of tens that's why i'm also writing it under tens and you make sure all your numbers all your digits must be in a straight line okay then we come to the next one zero times two it will give us zero zero times six it will give us zero zero times one it will give us zero we continue what do we have here we are now having two 2 times 0. We, are, we cannot write it here, we cannot write it here, but it is supposed to be here. 0. Why are we writing here? We are writing here because this 2 is under the place value of 100. It is under the place value of 100. So it shall say 2 times 2, it will give us 4. 2 times 6, it will be 12. 12, we shall write 2, we regroup 1. 2 times 1, it will give us 2 times, I mean, 2 plus 1, they will give us 3. So after getting our 3, we shall have to add, as we always do. If you want, you can also say, placeholders. Zero represents nothing. So here we can also add their placeholders. Just watch by the space. So we shall say 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus 4, 4. 0 plus 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 0 plus 3, 3. Okay? When you look at this, answer is equivalent to the answer we have just got previously. So from there, we will have to continue from what we have got up there after proving you with that. So we shall say, divide by 81, divide by 80. 1. Why are we dividing by 8 1? We want to remain with the x as a subject of the formula alone. So from there I will say this 8 1 will cancel out to this 8 1. Remaining with x which will be equal to by 8 1 1. How many groups of 8 1 can go into? 324. Let's first go with these first three digits. Because 32 cannot be Divide this. So I want us to go with the first three digits. How many groups of 81 can go into 324? Let's come aside and we call it a rough work. We call it a rough work. We say uh, 81. We have 81 plus 81. We are looking for the groups of 81 that can go into 324. 81. Those are three groups. Let's see. When we add all this, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, we shall be having 3. 8 plus 8, 16. 16 plus 8, 24. So we have 24. When you, have, you look at this number, we have come out with 243. 243 is less than 300. 24. So let's add another group of 81 and we see if we can come out with the, what we want out of 81. We again add this. 3 plus 1, we shall have 4. 4 plus 8, we shall have 12. 12, we shall write 2, we regroup 1. 
When we regroup one here, we shall say one plus two is equal to three. What do we have here? 334. Here we have also 334. Okay? So let's count how many groups have gone into this. We have one, two, three, four. So they are four groups. So I will come and say by 81, one. By 81, four. Okay? After getting my four, I'll come and say x is equal to four. How many zeros are remaining? By 81, these zeros will also shift up here. So by 81, we shall have 4,000. Ah, I'll put there my full stop. And I get my ruler. After getting my ruler, I will have to underline my work such that my work will look so neat. And once it looks so neat, it gives the examiner chance to mark my work well. But if it is not neat, just know sometimes the examiner may fail to cross you because he's not seeing what you have done well. Uh, with this few remarks about what we have done, I would like to refer you for the activity. Get your book where you are, just your official book. Don't miss classwork because classwork is for the teacher who is teaching you mathematics at your school. But just get a new book and be following us as we work out of this. Now for today's case, for today's lesson, just come and have this activity here. Work out this activity from your home in your book. And when you get back to school, when the school's open, please take your work to your teacher who is handling mathematics, will guide you on what to do if you have passed or you have not passed. And in case you have not passed, your teacher will help you to understand. What, uh, what is my activity saying? Activity number one says, if 20% of a number is 8,000, what is the number? So I want you to go and find out that. I hope you are writing very fast because, you know, with the TV, everything is going on very soon. So as I read, as you'll be writing very fast, such that you may have all the work, even if the program goes off, still you'll access your work. Then from there, let's look at number two. Number two is saying 50% of the number is 480. At the same time, they say if 25% number is 240. Question A, what does it say? Question A is saying, work out the number. Question B, find 75% of the number. So it is upon you. They want you to first of all get the number. After getting that number, they still also want you to find for them the percentage of 75. Finding percentages of numbers, we looked at it in some previous lessons. Mark. Let's look at the last, that is number three, which says calculate the number whose percent is seven. So they want you to calculate the number. Remember, given percentage, it is 90%. Then the given number is 1,000%. Stay at home. You know the way how the situation is. Follow the government directives. We shall overcome this hard time. Really, Corona is becoming a challenge, but with the directives of the government, once you stay home, I know everything will come to an end. Corona will not take us. We pray for that, such that at the end of it all, we shall meet again. When schools open, stay at home, avoid handshakes, avoid movement. Avoid handshaking, avoid body contacts. What do I mean? Stop hacking each other until everything will come to an end. As I end the lesson, I extend my, uh, I extend my sincere thanks for this program that it has enabled us to access academics while we are at home. Stay tuned on BTN TV for academic purpose. I wish you well. As you come, as you stay tuned tomorrow, we are having another lesson. God bless you.